Fine. I'll explore all the houses. Could refuse to do that, but there's no point. Let's get on out. Every time I get whipped around, that's an issue. I don't have a compass. That's my problem. I don't have a minimap. I don't have a compass. If I could see at any point in time which direction I'm facing, that would be handy, but I can't. So there's this bit. The eastern part. At least north. That's just the wind rustling through the leaves. But there are, of course, numerous foes lurking about, I would presume. So I have to stay on my toes. This is the place for the computer. Allows me access elsewhere. I could go a bit deeper. I think I should stick to the edge and try to explore whatever I can find over here. It's not the only option, but it's the one I am going with. Let's see where this path takes me. I know I'm not going directly to the, to the resonance, but that's okay. Will I manage in time? Looking one way, looking the other way. Will you turn around now? Or will you? Be my victim. Gotcha. It's another one of them over there. Oh wait, this is a, is this, is this a safe house? No, it's not. What about a long shot? I love all these gadgets, all these tools I have at my disposal, but uh, I'm not using all of them. Oh, I see what's happening here. I need to see the eyes. I think that guy's carrying, yep, something on fire. So being able to get a stealth kill on him would be highly beneficial. Though of course that might prove to be difficult. This guy's eyes aren't glowing, so does that. He seems to be truly and properly dead. Will I be able to make it up the scaffolding and uh, get that guy unaware? That would be brilliant. Just need to be cautious. Silent, but deadly. Let's see if I manage. Don't get agitated now. Take it easy. Can you take that off of his hands or will it drop to the ground immediately? Sebastian, why? Why, Sebastian? I thought the whole point of this exercise was for... was for you to pick the... Mysterious weapon replica. You feel like you've seen this before, but you can't quite put your finger on, finger on when or where that was. But at any rate, it looks pretty cool, so you decide to keep it in your room. Not a trophy. I don't understand this symbol. Am I supposed to call it in or something? Probably doesn't mean anything. But hey, I was led here by that haunted. This provides me with a vantage point. 
I guess. <laughs> Look at the sky. Yeesh. Climb down. No, thank you. I'll stay put where I am. This is the ladder. Just to play it safe. There aren't that many haunted here. You'd think the place, place would be... Crawling with them. Why? It's tempting fate, isn't it? Oh, there aren't that many enemies nearby. Well, I guess things will just get worse. Much worse. Very soon. So presumably, I shouldn't be complaining. Should be scavenging. <laughs> Look at me. Cursing my good luck. But wishing for more foes. Come on now. This would be interesting if... Uh, a severed limb lunged at me on its own. It would be interesting, wouldn't it? Okay, look, I get it. Can, can we please deactivate this? Or is the only way to deal with them to actually proc them? Fine, let's proc it. Oh, it's one of those knife ladies. I guess procking them is the only option. I should have recognized her though. She's wielding a knife. Uh, can't fieldcraft this. Well, I guess I'm not getting any healing. But yes, if there's a camera placed down the... It's the same guy. Wait, could I have just tossed a bottle at her to stun her? I presumably could have. Oh my goodness, shotgun ammo pouch. Oh, brilliant. And some healing. Wrong button. Wait, was this guy marked on my map? All of them were supposed to be. Well, this is uh, the far eastern end of uh, this entire place. I'm fine on health, I guess. What? File number 15. Interview with Detective Sebastian Castellanos. What? How did they get that? I mean, that's me. Sebastian's voice. Well, I'm glad I made it here. Uh, we'll have to investigate the other side of the... We'll have to investigate a number of things. Steps. What's beyond? Ooh, I'll be able to craft harpoon bolts with this. CPD request for psychological evaluation. 
<laughs> November 17, 2014. Well, at least uh, we get uh, we get something, some background on ha what happened after the incident. Detective Sergeant Castellanos, following the events at Pickham Mental Hospital in October 2014, department policy requires that you undergo a mandatory psychological evaluation. Please report to the Standards and Training Division to schedule your fitness for duty evaluation. Dwayne Wright, <sighs> Police Psychological Services. Handwritten note. Sebastian, this is nothing to worry about. <laughs> Just take a few boxes and see a few questions. Standard operating procedure. Jim. Did they file him because they figured he was mentally the is unwell? This doing here? I think you brought it here. Well, unless someone... Someone who has heard of this... Has brought it here. Someone... Familiar with your past. That TV is worrying me. Okay, brace yourself. Whip out the shotgun, yeah, and be ready. Prepared for worse. For, I mean, for the worst. For worse than uh, is happening, but for the worst in general, I guess. All right, let's relax. I have an axe. <laughs> you know. Placing axe in real axe. I thought you'd just turn it off. Are you... Have you been transported to another realm? Because I'm afraid you might have been. Are we... Are you safe? I have an axe, I gotta remember that. I have an axe. I have a shotgun too. Yeah, I presume we'll try to leave. What? Oh no, journal. Tone psychological evaluation report. Top. Oh, we should presumably find both parts. File 15, Psychiatric Assessment of Detective Sebastian Garciano as well. Cleared of any wrongdoing in the disappearances of the Detective Oda and Junior Detective Kidman. Detective Castellanos' statement about the Beacon Mental Hospital incident. Statements have been vague and evasive. Initially reluctant to speak to a mental health specialist, Detective Castellanos eventually opened up about what happened that day. It is my expert opinion that he is suffering from paranoid delusions. The recent death of his daughter, combined with whatever happened in Beacon, seems to have fractured his grip on reality. It's my recommendation, Detective Castellanos. Bottom half has been torn off. I believe you. They've asked you questions and you've told them the truth. And you kept telling them the truth. You told them what happened. 
You could have made up lies, but you didn't. You told them what happened. As you should have. And you did, but they wouldn't believe you, would they? <sighs> I'm a long way from a save. Yeah, it's like ink ribbons. Just gotta... Just gotta deal with it. Give me the other half of... Of it. Come on, the report. You gotta give me the report. The rest of the report. Where is it? Do I head even further back? No, it's inaccessible. <sighs> no enemies, please. Am I supposed to try to leave? It was just a fever dream. A figment of your imagination. It wasn't a dream. I was inside of a killer's mind. It was as real as you are. That may be. But what good is it to hang on to this version of reality? It's what happened. Perhaps if we disabuse you of this notion, things will go more smoothly for you. It's what happened, damn it! His head shrieking me. Did he know something I didn't? Well, that is a distinct possibility, I guess. Look, if it's one of those invisible foes, that's going to be... ...horrible. But I assume it's not. Also, this door has opened up. But yes. Of course, it's Beacon. Always has been. Well. Well, let's find the other part of the report. Presumably nothing will happen here. They're, they're just gonna stress me out. Keep me here. You cannot keep me here. Ruvik? Well, there are people who would know. And those people... There are few people who would know the story. And among those people is Ruvik. He's got no reason to have a grudge against Sebastian, though. Ruvik knew that Sebastian was trying to do best he could. But yes, you can't keep me here. This is essentially Ruvik's message. I've made this world. This is my world. You can't keep me trapped here. I don't think it's an invisible foe. I think it's nothing. And if it's more than nothing, I have ball break. Yeah, that should give me plenty of solace. I have ball break. Yeah, you sit in the chair. You always sit in the chair, don't you? Wait, this is the... This is the image from the main menu of the original game, isn't it? This is the place, this is the room! Fine. Oh! Up, 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 uh, whatever, a slide, for the slide deck. Is, is this number two? Yes. I remember all these things. It's a memory. A painful memory indeed. Beacon. I can't be back. You're not.
Remember how the system works. The world is created collaboratively by various minds. They contribute the memories and so on. Originally, only Ruvik had any conscious experience. Uh, well, had any conscience influence, but everyone had an influence of some description. I'm not sure how, the, how it works here. If you want people to live in union, do you really allow anyone to create reality? That sounds dangerous. So how do you control it? Did they? Is there anything else I can interact with? Anything else I can do? I don't think so. Fine. Let me investigate myself. Am I a monster? Because you know that's not you. You are you. Laura. Wake up, Sebastian. What the hell is going on? Red goo. Never forget Beacon. Were those just memories? Kidman? What do you want? Sebastian, are you all right? Your no. vitals suddenly spiked. You're about to go into cardiac arrest. I saw Beacon. I was there again. How could that be? This is a completely new stem. I don't know. But I know what I saw. God, I hope it doesn't happen again. It's bad enough in here already. I don't want to have to relive the past over and over. Place is trying to mess with me. Can't get distracted. Gotta find Lily. The only person you could possibly suspect of making it this way, other than yourself, which is a possibility, is Ruvik. So one way or another, Ruvik is here. He's not been accounted for, has he? Where's the other part of the report? Sebastian, is it in the same room? We can leave through here, I guess, but let's not. Keep your eyes peeled. Stay vigilant. Is this still inaccessible? Is it? No, you can totally access it. I've been here. I've plundered this place thoroughly. So yes, of course it's accessible and of course we've been here. It's just that when I uh, got shunted to the other reality, I couldn't access this. That was a uh, limited space. Do we turn off the TV? Where's the other part of the report? Presumably it's not here. Right, can we leave safely through this door? We can presumably leave through this door, but can we do so safely? No, what is... Good lord, what is happening in there? What? What is that? It's cold. I think. I don't like this. I don't like any of this. Fine, we'll leave this place. Whatever this is. Move on. But I guess we will visit every single place. Plunder every single thing. At least as far as I can. Oh, 
All oh, right, you can sneak in through here. Fair enough. You just needed to push that away. Now, I could go further north. It's a blocked off road. Isn't that dangerously close to the signal? And isn't that signal possibly basically his house? Fitting, bookends, and so on. I have options. I could hypothetically just run all the way back and save. Yeah, and that would be the safest of options, wouldn't it? Sounds pretty reasonable right about now. Then I can try to explore the other side of the street. I, I see you dangling over there. Stay that way. Well, if my plan is to keep on running back and forth, I'd better upgrade my stamina. I don't have enough green gel. I have plenty of red gel, though. Not that it necessarily helps me, it just unlocks further tears. All it means is that you can just keep on farming low-level enemies in safe spots. was relatively challenging, so I do deserve a save. Challenging? I faced absolutely zero foes. What am I even talking about? I was perfectly safe. It was just moderately scary. Never forget. Why would Ruvik do that? Uh, because he's evil, you know, sadistic. <laughs> Otherwise, of course, this doesn't make a great deal of sense. He'd be taunting me, giving me information unnecessarily against his own interest. After all, the more I know, the more I can counteract. Although, of course, Ruvik's M.O. has pretty much always been to stress people out. To make them suffer, to be as sadistic as humanly possible. That's just who, he's who he is, yeah, that's just what he's like. Which I guess might be his greatest weakness. This compulsion to make people suffer. If he gives people information, well... I'll use that against him. Okay, are you... No, you're dead and gone. I can see it in your eyes. Oh, this has been marked, eh? Well, I guess this place has been searched and it's... Got nothing, nothing to offer. Have we been over here? Can we even open this? Presumably not. Yeah, I can see nothing through the windows. Presumably any place that's searchable. Be different. Doesn't look like I've been here. Yeah. But if I search this place, and don't search others, then what? We're going to have one place that... Oh, great. Yeah, so what? Even if that thing gets up, it's gonna be fine. Yeah, I've missed a couple of shots on 
A largely mobile target. Whatever. And yeah, 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 apparently. Even if they seem completely inactive, they may still get up. The eyes may light up at any point. I was in no danger whatsoever. I could have just used the axe. How precious are the axes exactly? As much as they don't require crafting. Okay, that place has been cleared out. I can hypothetically go there again. Not that I would like to. Not that I would want to either. Right, nothing to see there. Ugh. Well, if I want to be thorough, how thorough do I have to be? Guess this little place between places, this little bit. It's also something that has to be explored. Treadwell trucking. Hmm. Desperately trying to place this. Is this the back bit? The gnarly tree? Yes. It's the light. Yeah, we've been there. Nothing to see through there, I guess. Ah, I might have missed something. Something nearby. Well, am I supposed to go door to door then? Try to visit every single place from all these... Um, all these places nearby? That would be particularly tedious. Let's try to visit all the houses, sticking to the road. I'm not sufficiently methodical, I guess. This is presumably inaccessible. Yeah, you can basically see which places you can go to and which places you can't. Oh. Hello there. Well, I guess I can just go through here and get that haunted. The music guides me. Tells me when I need to be careful. Wait, where was she? There's some ammo over here, but... You seem like a threat, a looming threat. Yeah, you also seem like a looming threat. All of you seem looming. See? Talk about looming. Yeah. You have awoken from your slumber, I understand. And you're cranky now. Of course you are. Ooh. <laughs> you could go the wrong way. Uh, let's see, how convenient will this be for me? Right, if he goes to the right. Oh, 
No! No, 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 I tried to use the axe. Bottle break. Axe. with your head. Hey that fella. He's gonna get up as well, isn't he? Eventually. Pushes are annoying in the sense that they obscure vision, but on the other hand, I kind of need them because they provide cover. So it's a blessing and a curse. Is this the house? Yes, it is. This is the house. I can honestly handle that a lot better. So it's not threat. I'm so sorry, lady. Wish I could have. I wish I could have helped any of you, but yeah, presumably then you would have turned on me. For shame. Uh, bottle break, eh? Even if I get caught, I don't really get caught, so I really shouldn't stress. I'll be fine. Are you gonna get up? Oh, that's some healing, I guess. <laughs> you gotta press reload for him to reach for his weapon and then and only then can you use the communicator. Yeah, it's that room. Relax. Something gonna... Pass through at all? I like this. I like this. Look around the side. Okay. Fine. Just sneak in. If anything is to happen, I can always use my trusty shotgun. Gotta check those corners. Yeah, this is presumably it. The notebook. Nothing else. Although I can always go into another person's memories via that, so it might not be what it seems. Let's see. Yeah. What's happening? Memories. The final entry of this diary, penned in an unsteady hand. There's something in this house with me. I can't see it, but I sense its presence. I don't think I want to see it. I can hear those terrible things outside. So this is a woman who's scared right now. Not because of those things out there. To, on some level, she has accepted their existence, and they're no longer that level of threat. They're scary for sure, but that's not what horrifies her. What horrifies her is something different and something even worse. My goodness. I can hear those horrible things outside. They're everywhere. I'm afraid to go out there, but I'm afraid to stay in here too. I'm shivering, but it's not from fear. Why did it get so cold all of a sudden? It's freezing. 
I see dead people. What happened to you, lady? What happened to you? And why? Close back up, nothing here. What a weird corridor. Very inconvenient. Did you die in your bathroom? Is that what happened? Sebastian, you gotta... What the fuck is happening? Sebastian, run. It's Laura. You know it is. Run! Oh, no! I gotta get out of here. How? The doll? Oh, it's far from... It's far from the last save. Anything to be found here? I think I have to follow her, unfortunately. How does she know my name? Damn it. Do I need a key card? Is that it? There's gotta be some way to get out of here. Oh, yeah, but how? This is completely the way out. No. Can we head back? No. Damn it. Well, the only way is presumably gonna be back through the. I'm gonna have to follow. <laughs> oh god Sebastian you gotta gotta go for new cover can she face through walls? The only way out involves going past where she is.
she can go through walls. How the hell am I supposed to know how she... This might get me out of here. Security guard will open the locked door. It seems familiar. Okay, will she go through a wall over here? Which one? Can I go back? Will she go around? Okay, I have two ways to go. Through the, through the door I came in. Or, or, or around. She seems far. Was pathetic, but I presume she's uh, not supposed to find me. I think I'll have to run from here on. I don't think I have much of a choice. Yeah. Yeah. Three thirty six Cedar Avenue. Did I just imagine that? No. That was what was that thing? Was that real or all in my mind? Sebastian, that's not a, that's not a meaningful distinction here. Photographic slide, a relic from a pre phone <laughs> camera. Yes, another slide. A memory. Uh, I can report these back to Kidman. Yeah, there might be something outside waiting for me. Look, I've collected these two slides that I have not yet reported. I can talk to Kidman about these. These might be important to the case. What does that sound? Is that a ticking clock? <sighs> well, I've investigated it. Can find some shotgun shells over there. I'm not sure I want to. I think. I think we should get out of here. This is the way south, right? Yes. Well, then let's head south. I can, of course, methodically go through every <laughs> single house, every single bit of this area, again, to make sure I haven't missed anything. Yeah, and possibly report back. <laughs> I am going to go through every single bit of terrain, I think. The path to the east has collapsed, so there's no more chance to search these places. And uh, I'm exploring all around here. Once I... Yeah, once I go through all the houses in the, in the region over here... Um, how do I want to do this exactly? I think I've been through here on the eastern path, so now I have to uh, check houses on the west from the east. On Eastern Road. Yeah, and then eventually... Well, pick these things up, yes. Clear this entire area, and then and only then actually move on to the other safe house. That's the plan, at least. I 
we've made decent progress. At least as far as I can tell. For all I know, I'm clearing out these things that uh, I would presumably have to clear out anyway. Maybe once you go to the main resonance, you are told to explore all of these signs and sightings and things. Either way, we're going back to Sebastian's room through the mirror. Mm, might as well talk to Tatiana, I guess. I don't think I have anything for her, but might as well have a little chat. Don't really have enough green gel. Not looking so good. Let me help you. Don't you think it's time that you move? <laughs> yeah, need to get better at running. Stamina recovery. Further increase on the gauge, reflexes, to automatically avoid attacks. I think I just want more stamina, so that's gonna be 3k more. We're leaving. Let's save, talk to Kidman, save again. All right, slide deck. Actually, let's check the office first. I think I've put something there. I think it was the the rocket launcher. Yeah, this is my little trophy collection. All the things that remind me of Beacon. Oh, these are in order. That's good. Talk to Kidman about the second slide. I think they are in order. Yeah, they almost certainly are in order. Hey, Kidman. What can I do for you, Sebastian? Beacon. My life was skidding off the track before I went into that place. Being inside Ruvik's head like that. I haven't been the same since. They tried to tell me it was all in my mind, but my mind couldn't have dreamt up the things I saw in there. You don't have to remind me. I was there too. Yes. Yeah. Your pals in Mobius didn't have any problem putting you in danger, did they? Not at all. Maybe. But if I wasn't with you, we might not have made it out alive. There are times when I'm not sure I ever made it out, and now I'm in another stem. And I'm still with you. We're going to get out alive, just like the last time. I hope you're right about that. I've played through the DLCs. She's a good person. As good as she can be anyway. You still up, Kidman? No rest for the wicked. What's going on? I can't believe Lily is still alive. The fire. Lily wasn't killed in the fire. You know this now. But how? Tell that to my brain. Tell that to the nightmares I've been having for years. Why did they take her? Out of all the little girls in the world, why mine? I can't answer that, Sebastian. Mobius took Lily long before I joined them. I know you don't believe in coincidences, but maybe you see a pattern because you want to. You know that some crimes just happen. There's no real reason for it. Just the wrong person, at the wrong place, at the wrong time. No. I refuse to believe that. Regardless, the fire is a memory that you need to purge, Sebastian. It wasn't your fault that it happened. And you didn't lose Lily because of it. Try to remember that. Those are two very important points, both of which are undeniably true. One, the fire wasn't his fault. Obviously, it wasn't his fault. He didn't start the fire. 
it, it, I mean, yeah, it was presumably started by Mobius to hide whatever they've done, yeah. The kidnapping of Lily. And he didn't lose Lily because of it. She didn't die there, she's still alive. So those are two things he needs to stop tormenting himself over. There wasn't anything he needed to do to stop the fire to begin with because the tragedy didn't occur. He needs to stop tormenting himself about the fire. It was all based on a previous understanding that is woefully out of date. He needs to remember that. He needs to focus on the facts. Now, Mobius may have kidnapped... And based on that, I, I get uh, the green gel. Based on my retrieved memories, I get a little prize. Does the cat like it? Cat, do you like it? Thanks, kitty. Are you, are you giving me this because I'm showing you the slides? I mean, thanks, I guess. Just like that, I have over 3,000 units of gel. Wow. I'm still on chapter 3. I'm, I have no idea whether I've actually made a reasonable bit of progress. If this is to be trusted, then there's only so much I can possibly find, I guess. Further exploration has afforded us glimpses into something more personal and unnerving. Sebastian's dark past has finally caught up with him and he's trying to find a way to deal with it, to move on and overcome the trauma. What further horrors shall I encounter next? Find out in the next part of my playthrough of The Evil Within 2. Thank you all all so much for watching and you will see me elsewhere.